to this quick and easy tutorial on how to update the firmware on any one of your Kindles and we're using the Paperwhite as you can see right here but it's the same procedure for any Kindle so if you go to Google and just type in Kindle software update the .com website, .co.uk, it doesn't really matter you'll see, as long as it's an official Amazon website if you go to it, you'll see come to this page and across the page you've got all your different versions of the Kindles we're going to go ahead and click on the one that we're using today. If you take a look, you will see down here um, the software version. If you just click on that, it will go ahead and download it as a .bin file. Don't worry too much about that. You don't need to do anything with that. It's a pretty quick download, uh, just over 200 meg. We've just downloaded it, and there it is right on the desktop. So now we want to go ahead and connect the Kindle Paperwhite and it should pop up, it's the exact same procedure for Windows um, and there we go, it should pop up and all you do is you double click on it and you've got documents which is where all your books are but what you want to do is you want to drag and drop that .bin file from your desktop or your downloads folder wherever you've saved it onto the actual Kindle itself and just wait for that to finish and now that it's finished transferring onto the Kindle we're going to go ahead and eject the Kindle and switch over to the Kindle and we'll show you what to do right now. If you turn on your Kindle, if you look on the top right hand corner, you've got those three dots. If you tap on that, you want to then go ahead and click on settings. And once you've done that, you want to click on those three dots again on the top right and click on update your Kindle. Now, where it says update your Kindle, that will not be visible if you've downloaded the wrong firmware version. So that just means you've downloaded it for the wrong generation. It'll ask you if you're sure you want to continue. You want to go ahead and click OK. And then you probably want to grab a cup of tea or a coffee because this procedure takes about seven, eight minutes in total. I'm just going to fast forward the video here because it took about eight minutes to fill up this bar. And um, this is a screen that you'll see. Once this screen is finished and the bar is finished filling up, you'll go ahead and you'll see the normal screen that you see when you first turn on your Kindle. It'll tell you to wait. The screen will flash quite a few times. It'll go blank. That's fine. That's normal. And you'll eventually end up here. And um, this will pretty much mean that it's done. So you can go ahead and eject your Kindle from your computer at this stage. And once you've ejected your Kindle, you can go ahead and check just to make sure that it's on the firmware that you wanted to install. If you click the three dots on the top right again to bring up the menu, you then click on settings. And from settings, you want to go ahead, click on the three dots again, click on device info, and, and there it is. The firmware version says Kindle 5.8.9.2, which matches the firmware that we've downloaded. You can go ahead and press the X to exit that, and that's pretty much it. All your features, everything that are on the latest firmware will be available to use. Hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, click on the like button. Thank you for watching.